Hi guys, this is Karen Kaneja and I'm going to be teaching you how to put Mac onto your Windows 7 computer or Windows Vista. For this, you're going to have to have a processor which is either similar or higher spec than i3, i5 or i7. Please note that this virtualization does not support AMD, so if you have AMD, you cannot carry on with it because what it requires is to actually virtualize your computer uses VMware workstation so yeah before we continue if you could please go into the description and click on the securable link right you're gonna have to download this software and it shows you if your computer can carry on with this process so if you download now open it yes and if you open it and if you have two yeses for the hardware and hardware virtualization you can carry on with it it can either be 32 bit or 64 bit anything is preferred but if you have a no here it will not be able to virtualize your computer so you can't run the actual software so after you've checked with this software you can go into the torrent link for this you're gonna have to have a torrent I prefer uTorrent and you can download the torrent and it's I think it's a 4 gig file so you're gonna have to wait quite a long time after you've downloaded it you're gonna need an extraction software preferably WinRAR and extract this onto your desktop right after you've extracted it Mac OS X line 10.7 will be on your desktop and what this actually is it's it's pre-installed and it's not like the other version versions which you have to actually mess around with right after extraction it's a 10.5 gig file so you're gonna have to have space for this as well right after you've get, got it on your desktop go into the VMware workstation and you're gonna have to install the setup file for this the keys have been provided and when it does ask you for the keys you can just copy any one from here if one doesn't work you can just try another one and after you've installed it you can go back onto the main page for this folder then you're gonna have to enable the patch for the Mac line to work on your thing on your motherboard and you're gonna have to go to the Windows batch file right click and run as an administrator do not run this normally because it will not work click yes and it should unlock your computer to run Mac on it so right the unlocking is, is successful right so after this before we open the software you need to be aware that this can slow down your computer and it's actually the software that takes up all the RAM so click that and it's gonna be on your desktop so there it is right you double click that takes a bit of time to open oh I've opened it twice so after it's actually open you will not be on this page you will actually be on this page and what you're gonna need to do is create a new virtual machine and you're gonna have to install the operating system so click on file open you need to navigate to the Mac folder and find the file which is the virtual machine configuration this is the actual Mac OS X file so if we go into the folder and I could just show you where it is right it is here if you open this folder up with the open folder here the file would be there so you click the file you click open right once you've opened the file you can actually see that it has been integrated with the software and then you can actually power on this virtual machine right if you're not on a strong enough processor I highly recommend you close all your other programs and then click virtual machine 
before you open this you can click edit virtual machine settings as well which you can configure how much memory you want to actually use with this and you can see here that I have total four processes you can allocate how many you want to actually use after you've configured what you want to use you can actually click power on this virtual machine right okay you can even go full screen just waiting for the Mac to load if you have any problems getting up to this stage please leave me a comment or an inbox and I'll be more than happy to reply to your questions I'm, gu I'm guessing here that the main problem is actually gonna be the hardware configuration for your computer to actually run this software so if you need any advice or help on that I can tell you how to get around it there we go the Mac has loaded and entering my password right here right you will not be welcome with this screen your first time you'll actually have another user which is actually there and it's gonna require a password but don't enter in anything click the box and click enter with this Mac you can actually use it to install Mac files but please note that after you've shut down the tester the virtualization software the install files will actually go oh, I'm facing graphical issues here but should work Here we are presented with the Mac screen on your Windows computer. And you can see that everything here is functional. And actually, the toolbar works about this Mac. You can see that the page is open, and so does the dock bar. So here we are with Mac running on our Windows computer. Thanks a lot for watching and goodbye.